All right, you guys know that whenever I have a chance to show how vulnerable master locks are, man, I'm going to grab that chance with both hands and hang on. That's what I'm going to try to do today. I have 10 different, well, they're all, they're all number threes except this guy. I've been digging through the bucket, and the idea is to see how quickly I can get through 10 of these. These are the most common locks in the United States. People lock up bicycles and storage sheds and boat trailer hitches, jet skis, everything. This is the most common, not this guy, but the number three is the most common lock. These are all four pin locks, even this guy. Uh, nine of these are number threes and they have standard uh, pins in them. Only one is security pins. And I'm using this 140 only because I didn't have a, a tenth uh, master lock number three. So I just wanted to make it nice, even round number 10. Let's see how fast we can get through all of these. So if you guys have a timer, now would be a good time to start. I'm just going to... Let me tell you what the procedure will be. Um, what I'm going to do is tension it, obviously. I'm going to start first start trying to rake, and this is probably the most effective number three defeating pick I have. It is a Sparrow's Worm. If that doesn't work, if I detect that there's some high-low, high-lows, I'll jump to a Bogota, which is just like the worm, but the peaks are just a little bit deeper. And if that doesn't get it, if I can't rake it open because it's got some crazy bidding, and a couple of these do... Uh, then I'll just have to single pin pick it or SPP it. That's the plan. All right, if you got to watch, now would be a good time to start. All right, come out of there. Oops, I'm just doing right here. Keep me in the camera. Keep me in the camera. This is the one with security pins. It's got spools in there. It's not exactly the right tension either, but... Oh, man. <laughs> That's not going to slow me down a bit. <laughs> Master lock. So I'll probably get through about nine of these, and then that last one's probably going to take me an hour. I'm covering up my picks. I might have to get at those in a minute. Doing, man. Put some security pins in these things. Very light tension and just rake it randomly. Even if you got a deep cut hiding behind a shallow cut, it doesn't seem to make a difference. I may, I may be able to get through all these with just one pick. Alright, stop the clock. Done. All right, guys, if you are locking up anything of value with a master lock number three or maybe even one of these 140s, don't do it. Get yourself a decent lock. If it's something valuable you're trying to secure, spend a little money, get a good quality lock. Anyway, <laughs> I'm surprised with that quick. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay away from master locks.